DJI has just released their new Matrice 30 series drone, and many have been calling it game changing. But is it really game changing when we already have the Matrice 300 and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced? Well, in this video, we'll break down the key differences between these three models to help you understand DJI's bigger picture when it comes to their Enterprise lineup. How's it going everyone? I'm KG with Drones Made Easy and I'm here to present to you DJI's new M30T and break down what makes this drone so unique. Now we can't address this drone without first mentioning its striking resemblance to the Matrice 300. The M300 has been our customer's go-to enterprise drone since releasing in 2020. It's DJI's highest end enterprise drone which is reflected in both its features and its price tag. DJI's new M30 brings together all the safety redundancy features of the M300 and incorporates them with a smaller but still incredibly capable camera. All in a portable and affordable package. Maybe not as portable and affordable as the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance, but if you're looking for that sweet spot right in the middle, then look no further. Now if you've just stumbled upon our videos for the first time, we are Drones Made Easy, a local San Diego company that specializes in all things drones. If you want to learn more about the latest in drone technology, then subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoy the content, leave a like and comment for that YouTube algorithm. Now I get a lot of people that ask, hey KG, how do these enterprise level drones differ from consumer level drones? Well, they do share a lot of the same technology, but they do so at a higher accuracy and with more features. These higher end drones are equipped to assist with first responders, law enforcement, construction, surveying, mapping, and many more applications. With that in mind, they need to be able to operate in harsher conditions and still capture high quality images. They also offer specialized camera payloads which enable the use of zooming, thermal imaging, LiDAR sensing, laser range finders, larger sensors, and low light cameras. When it comes to these enterprise drones, it's a whole different ballgame. The primary feature that sets apart the M300, M30, and Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is going to be the camera. Starting with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, we have a non-removable dual camera setup that features a 48 megapixel visual camera on a half inch CMOS sensor, which only offers digital zoom. The second camera on this payload has a high resolution radiometric thermal sensor with a resolution of 640 by 512 at 30 Hertz. The M30 will have a virtually identical thermal camera as the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance, but that's where the similarities between these two end. This payload offers three more cameras, including a wide angle with a 12 megapixel half inch CMOS sensor at a f2.8 aperture, a laser rangefinder for up to 1200 meters of operation, and a 200 times zoom lens with a 48 megapixel half inch sensor. Believe it or not, there's actually one more camera that's not on the camera payload of the M30. It's actually on the body of the aircraft. This is the FPV camera that is enhanced for low light conditions so you can fly with confidence even at night. The M30 copied this FPV camera placement from the M300 as it also has a camera built into the body of the aircraft. However, it is not optimized for nighttime flying and is also at a slightly lower resolution. Moving on to the M300's H20T payload, similar to the M30T, there's a laser rangefinder, thermal camera, and a wide camera that are all virtually identical. The M300 also shares a similar 200 times zoom camera like the M30, but will give you a better quality due to its 23 time hybrid optical zoom compared to the M30's 16 time optical zoom. When you look at the size of both cameras, you can see why that's so impressive. One more feature the M300 has that these two other drones do not is a swappable camera payload. Having the option to swap cameras depending on the mission makes the M300 the most versatile option when it comes to cameras. Obstacle avoidance on the M300, M30, and Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance ensure that each of these drones has robust safety measures in place to prevent crashes. Out of these three, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance will have the least capable omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system, offering 12 sensors in total, including two visual camera sensors on the front, back, and bottom, and one visual sensor on each side. It also offers two infrared camera sensors on top and two on bottom. In comparison, the M30 and M300 both offer 12 visual and 12 close range infrared sensors for a total of 24 omnidirectional optical avoidance sensors. These sensor redundancies will ensure that you fly safe in both well-lit and dark environments. 
When it comes to safety, the M300 and the M30 are both set apart from the rest of the Enterprise lineup due to their robust redundancy measures. For instance, they both have dual inertial measurement units or IMUs, dual barometers, dual RTK antennas, dual compasses, control signal redundancies, dual intelligent batteries, dual transmission links, dual remote controller redundancy, three propeller emergency landing, and ADSB for real-time information on airplanes and helicopters within 20 kilometers. These two drones come with the works. Remote controls for the M300, M30, and Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance will all be unique as well. The Mavic will use the standard DJI Smart Controller, whereas the M300 will use the Smart Controller that's modified a bit so you can sit it upright. It also has a WB37 battery in the back, which you can actually remove if you want a hot swap. Now, the newest remote is gonna be the DJI RC Plus for the M30. This also has a hot swap function in the back with a WB37, just like the M300. You will also get a much bigger screen and remote in general with plenty of customizable buttons. It will also give you an improved IP rating of 55 versus the IP45 for the other two. This improved rating could be essential for operations in rainy or wet environments. Flight times and batteries for these drones are gonna vary as well. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance is gonna have about a 30 minute flight time, whereas both the M30 and M300 are closer to 40 minutes. These two drones also have dual batteries, which allow for hot swapping so you can get back in the air a lot quicker. The M30 took it one step further by making each battery have an individual lock. That way you never accidentally power off your drone when you're doing a hot swap. Now that we've gone over all the major technical details, let's talk about their portability and ease of use. Now the size difference is apparent right away when it comes to the drones, but that's also gonna be true when it comes to the batteries, remotes, and accessories. This is something you need to consider when it comes to daily operations because the setup can add up over time if you're doing it multiple times a day. The Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance is the smallest and will be the easiest to transport and maneuver through tight spaces. The M30 is considerably bigger, but DJI made an effort to make this drone very easy to set up. This drone will also hold up in the harshest weather conditions with its IP55 rating. The M300 will take the longest to set up and is the heaviest to transport. However, you will get the most payload options available. These are all very capable drones, but maybe better suited to different operations in different environments. DJI's Enterprise lineup has come a long way in recent years. Now there's a specialized drone for most operations. The addition of the M30 has firmly established DJI as the go-to Enterprise drone manufacturer. But maybe these drones are too much for you or just not what you're looking for. In that case, check out our video covering the Mavic 3, which is DJI's best performing consumer level drone. 